One of those cautioning against regional escalation is Jordanian Foreign Minister and Deputy Prime Minister Ayman Safadi. He joins me now to share his perspective. Uh, Minister, thanks so much for taking the time this afternoon. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me, Jim. Jordan is literally caught between Israel and Iran, geographically between the two. What is your message now, both to Israeli leaders and Iranian leaders? Uh, we are indeed caught in between, uh, Jim. Our message is that uh, this escalation serves nobody. Uh, it threatens uh, uh, a regional war. And uh, as far as Jordan is concern uh, concerned, we will not be a battleground for Israel and Iran, and neither of them should violate our airspace, endanger our, our security and our people, and we will not allow either uh, to violate uh, our airspace. Uh, our message, again, uh, stop this escalation and focus on the real issue, which is ending the uh, massacres and, and the catastrophe that continue to unfold in Gaza. I wonder, did you convey a similar message before yesterday's strike? Yes, we did. Uh, our longstanding policy is that we do not allow a violation of our airspace. We communicated unequivocally to both sides that do not uh, violate our airspace and uh, do not drag us into, uh, into your conflict, and we will not be your battleground. I wonder, do you believe that the Israeli leader, Benjamin Netanyahu, wants a broader war in the region? Well, I mean, he's the one who benefited most from the uh, uh, recent escalation. Uh, as you know, uh, international pressure was mounting up uh, six months into the killing and destruction of Gaza. More pressure was on him to stop the war. This was the perfect diversion. Uh, we've seen how world attention shifted into this escalation, and uh, uh, everybody started focusing again on, on, on the Israeli-Iranian conflict. So, yes, uh, that escalation works to his advantage. And what we're trying to message uh, out of Jordan is that do not allow this to happen. Do not allow for attention to be diverted away from the real issue, which is the urgency uh, and, indeed, imperative of ending uh, this catastrophe in Gaza. What, what, is, what is new here, uh, the new threshold right, is, is a direct attack on each other's territory. Iran directly attacked Israeli territory, and now Israel has directly attacked Iranian territory. Do you believe that Iranian leaders want to have a broader conflict as well, perhaps want to spark a direct conflict with the U.S.? What, what we know for sure is that uh, escalation is going to be extremely dangerous for everybody, for, for us in the region and beyond into uh, uh, the broader world as well, particularly in the U.S., which could be dragged into, into this. Uh, Iran retaliated to the uh, uh, Israeli attack on uh, its uh, embassy building in Damascus. Uh, it said, well, it said uh, then that it, it will do no more. Uh, uh, now Israel retaliated. And I think, again, uh, the party that benefits most from that is, is, is Benjamin Netanyahu, who wants to push attention away from, from Gaza. Uh, yeah. we've, long war, we've long warned that uh, Netanyahu would want to drag the U.S. into confrontation, into, into confrontation with, 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 with Iran, and, and that should not happen because simply it will be devastating for the whole region.